What's going on, YouTube? Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. I'm Ty. I'm Katie. We're Take up travel. And today, we're checking out the scariest places in the world. Let's go. Here we go. got me <laughs> actually got me today we're checking out the scariest places in the oh, world man. <laughs> so i had to scare you if that's how we're starting i don't know if i'm ready for this yeah top 10 scariest places in the world that's right i'll get you back one of these days be fun all right let's just get into it okay <laughs> after that come on oh here we go here we go facts verse presents the top 10 scariest places in the world all right in the world number 10 the abandoned coal washing plant. Known as La Verie de Charbon in French, the abandoned French coal washing plant is simply out of this world. Designed for the purpose of processing and washing coal that was produced in area mines and cycled through this industrial park, it had experienced a fire years ago, leaving behind Ooh. a metallic skeletal remain that defies logic. Incredibly dirty, any person who Defines enters logic. has to throw their clothes away due to the what? smell. Oh. A death trap by any stretch of the imagination. The coal washing plant is an incredibly scary place to be lost in. Oh. Number nine. Where is that at? Abandoned it's Gulliver's French, Travel Park. So I'm thinking in France? Childhood is often a time of discovery, excitement, and innocence. With places specially dedicated to kids, we associate some objects and things like adventure or theme parks with them. When these places begin to Whoa. fall into disrepair, oh. like with the abandoned Gulliver's Travel Park in Japan, truly unsettling places are created. In fact, the abandoned Gulliver's Travel Park in Japan that look that scary. a step further. Gulliver's travels are all about an individual exploring the unknown and coming across large and small things alike. Because of this, the park is filled with imagery and objects that are wildly blown out of proportion. <laughs> Interesting. Eight, the Murney Diamond Mine. Diamond mining is incredibly challenging. Despite theoretically high levels of diamonds in the crust, they are typically at depths that are far beyond our ability to reach with modern technology. When they are a little closer to the surface, we find ways to get to them. With this in mind, Ooh. the Murney Diamond Mine represents our attempt to find and extract diamonds. When all was said and done, it was the second largest open pit mine in the world. Murney Diamond Mine is an inactive oh. mine in Siberia that is completely... Oh, my oh that's really gosh. far down what there. ...among the scariest places on the planet is that it is a circular hole that oh. delves more than 1,700 feet. It has oh. a diameter of about 3,900 feet as well, oh. making it massive. When viewed from the air, it looks like a massive hell mouth just waiting to eat everything that comes. Oh my gosh. The hole gosh. creates powerful downward currents that suck nearby helicopters in, killing oh. their crew. What? Really? From the side, the Murney Diamond Mine looks like a massive, endless hole into the center of the earth. Oh. When looking down, all you see is blackness for more than a thousand feet. Oh my gosh. Number the seven, sucking the helicopters the in. Sands That's the scariest forts. part. The Red Sands Sea Forts are located in the River Thames and exist to spy and report on enemy fleet movement during World War II. The first line River of Thames, where is that at? Attack I'm not sure. Those on the Red Sands Sea Forts had the grave task of reporting an attack they would probably not survive. Abandoned oh my gosh. and remaining in place to this day, the Red Sands Sea Forts are eerie testaments to our past. The Red Sands Sea Forts rise from the water like rotting monsters. Raised in the air by metal supports that look like spindly legs, the Red Sands Sea Forts are ominous sentinels. Habitats for squatters and recluses alike, the Red Sands Sea Forts are all but forgotten. 
Creepy. Number six. Whoa. Shai Shang, underwater city. Underwater? When conjuring a city coming from out of the depths, <laughs> we often consider Atlantis or other fabled cities that have been lost to time and find themselves beneath the waves. In China, there are cities and villages that have been lost, caused Whoa. by natural disaster as well as economical expansion and renewal. These underwater habitats remain eerie vestiges of those places we once called home. That is creepy. Structures that more than 400 so years in age are still relatively intact, and How? divers are constantly finding new things. Among it all, however, are the discarded relics of the past, haunting to any person who views them today. Whether you see it How in it pictures together? or explore it firsthand, there is a haunting quality about the place that makes it one of the scariest places on the planet. <laughs> five, the Sanzi UFO houses. Constructed in New Taipei City, Taiwan in 1978, the Sanzi UFO houses were a bold move towards an experimental pod-shaped architecture. Quickly becoming a ghost town after being considered cursed, the Sanzi Ooh. UFO houses remained for decades as UFO houses, wow. of a failed architectural plan. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that. This increased its popularity <laughs> as an unofficial tourist destination. Round rooms. How would you even buy furniture for that? Yeah. Time. Eventually, <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> Sanzi UFO houses were bulldozed in 2008, leaving behind piles of rubble and broken architecture. Number four, the power plant IM. Built as the largest coal-burning power plant in all of Belgium, Look at that. the power plant IM has fallen into disrepair. Since its construction in 1921, the power plant IM has a haunting architecture that combines massive industrial machines with brick and mortar construction. The end result is this abandoned landscape in vast expanses of interior Whoa. and Ooh. exterior space that defy that imagination. That's so creepy. That's yeah. the movie Dome set. Yeah, it does. Overlook pits and holes that disappear into oh. the darkness. Number three, the Willard Asylum. The Willard Asylum for the Chronic Insane stands as a I've never heard of any of these places. Have the you? No. That occurred in some mental institutions up until the past few decades. Located in upstate New York. The Willard Asylum York. has been abandoned for a long time, creating oh. an additional look of neglect. Old pieces of furniture, medical equipment, and even suitcases abandoned when the place was closed are strewn about. Oh. The atmosphere that the Willard Asylum That's has scary. is among the That's creepiest so scary. in the world. Look at that light. That's so Number creepy. Two, the Orpheum Auditorium. Beloved by a few, and forgotten by most, the Orpheum Auditorium stands today as an abandoned auditorium and theater space in New Bedford, Massachusetts. With construction finishing on the date that the Titanic sunk, it would remain in operational use until the late 1950s, when it was closed down for good. Oh man. With no work done to it since then, the Orpheum Auditorium remains as a haunting space that is incredible to see. Wow. Oh, wow. Number one, Christ Whoa. of the Abyss. <gasps> That's in Created the water? As part of an art exhibit in 1965, Whoa. three statues of Christ were sunk to the bottom of the Mediterranean Sea. What? Copies were made, and one was sunk off the coasts of Florida. Wow. Massive in scale, they tower over any person scuba diving around them and remain utterly surreal when surrounded by the whiteness of the ocean floor. Oh my gosh. Wow, yeah, I bet the divers are more. like this big compared to it. Yeah, probably. Oh my gosh. Wow, some of those were really creepy. Yeah. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Like the those theater. coal mines and stuff. Yeah. It's like, oh. Ooh, that big hole. That big black hole, yeah. Ooh. That was really scary. Yeah, and, and it said um, it could suck helicopters in there. Yeah. Ooh. How does that happen? I was thinking you'd, after that, You'd want to 
you'd think they'd fill it or put like a big tarp over it or something, but it's huge. It's massive, it's yeah. It's really huge. Tarp would be like a little dot on that thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that was wow. pretty scary. Yeah, creepy. Ooh. Yeah, let us know in the comments down below what you think the scariest one was and what should we watch next? Yeah, let us know. And thank you so much for watching this video. And if it's your first time coming across our channel and checking out one of our videos, please give us a quick subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date because we come out with videos every, every single, single day. day. We can't wait to see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. See ya.